Oh my god. Hey everyone, today, we're featuring the new 2024 horror thriller, The Inheritance. Let's see if this twisty family drama is worth your time. This film follows the wealthy Abernathy family. Charles Abernathy, the 75-year-old patriarch, invites his family for a birthday celebration at their grand mansion. Despite the usual family tensions, everyone shows up. But there's a twist Charles has something else planned for them. He reveals that someone or something is going to kill him that night. If anything happens to him, his entire estate will be donated. If you're thinking this sounds like Knives Out, hold on. The writers Chris Lamont and Joe Russo have other plans for you. Expect a mix of Ready or Not and The Fall of the House of Usher with a bit of The Haunting of Hill House. The story introduces us to the potential victims and suspects. We have Drew, played by Austin Stoll, who distanced himself from the family. Then, there are the twins, Madeline and CJ, portrayed by Rachel Nichols and David Walton, who are obsessed with money. The youngest sibling, Cammie, played by Peyton List, is more interested in social media. Drew's wife, Hannah, played by Brianna Middleton, is the outsider and serves as our point of view. The movie sets up a familiar scene, family drama, betrayal, and secrets. But the inheritance surprises us by not sticking to that formula. If you haven't seen the trailer, the unexpected twists are a pleasant surprise. However, once the genre shifts to horror, the movie struggles to keep the momentum. The family dynamics feel rushed, the characters lack depth, and the acting doesn't quite hit the mark. After enjoying horror hits like The Haunting of Hill House and The Fall of the House of Usher, you might expect something similar from The Inheritance. The setup and character types feel familiar, but the movie falters due to weak character development. It's fun to root against bad people, but without strong characters, the entertainment feels hollow. Visually, the film does a good job. The Victorian era mansion is spooky and thrilling, creating the right atmosphere. Cinematographer Vincent De Paula captures the mansion's opulence and eerie vibes well. Director Alejandro Burgess does his best, but the script holds him back. The writing often brings the film to a standstill, despite the efforts behind the scenes. In the end, The Inheritance is a straightforward horror film with a big genre shift. The attempt to defy expectations is commendable, but the execution falls short. The script needed more work to flesh out the characters. Brianna Middleton and Peyton List managed to stand out, but the rest of the cast struggles with their roles. The movie has some good moments, but the lack of strong character development and inconsistent momentum hold it back. So, if you're looking for a horror movie with a twist, The Inheritance might be worth a watch. Just don't expect it to reach the heights of its inspirations. The effort is there, and maybe that will be enough for some viewers. That's it for our review of The Inheritance. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more movie reviews. Share your thoughts on the film in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.